Now for some good news tonight. Willie Manning was set to be executed tonight in Mississippi, where he had been convicted and sitting on death row for the murders of two women back in 1994. But now, with DNA testing, he had never had his DNA tested to match up and see if he was, in fact, there that night, if his DNA matched the DNA found at the crime scene. And the Mississippi Supreme Court was drawing a lot of criticism in the last couple weeks because they had decided five to four to reject uh, his defense team's appeals to have his DNA tested. But in a last second decision, the court reversed itself and ruled eight to one to, in fact, indefinitely suspend his execution. Since 1989, when DNA testing began in the United States. 306 previously guilty individuals have been exonerated. 18 people have been taken off death row and let go because their innocence was proven. And seven people, not on death row, but seven people uh, who had been convicted of crimes in the past have been exonerated in Mississippi through DNA testing. So it just raises the question, if prosecutors were so sure that he was guilty in this case, why wouldn't they be open to DNA testing? Why wouldn't the Supreme Court be opening to DNA testing? Why do you have to go to the last minute like this, to the final hour before you reverse yourself, stressing everybody out, you know, making a big public skeptical and bringing a lot of criticism that's not necessary onto yourself? So not only does this raise the issue of Mississippi's far from perfect justice system, but it also raises the issue of whether we should have the death penalty anymore in our modern, industrialized, developed society. We know that the death penalty is far more expensive than giving someone life in prison. And now we know that the death penalty is imperfect because we've oftentimes, maybe not oftentimes, but far too often, any time is too often, executed someone who has been innocent, who we later found out, oh, that person didn't do it, or oh, you're on death row and we've wasted a lot of your years and you in fact did not commit the crime. 